So with the chronic neurodegenerative conditions, we're looking at inflammation in the, the neurological tissue, whether that's the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord, or whether that's the peripheral nervous system, which is the nerves right from the spinal cord out to the periphery, which is hands, feet, uh, you know, and through the body. Um, so with many neurodegenerative conditions, the most common being MS, there is an autoimmune component. And so it's important to kind of keep that in the back of the brain when, when treating it. Um, however, because the inflammation is in the nervous system, there is a different set of, of conditions that we need to really pay attention to. And um, there are a different, there's a different approach, right? The nervous system is very much about fats. The nervous system is built on fats and it requires fats to grow and thrive and repair. And so um, really using more um, lipophilic treatments. So what that means is um, fat-loving uh, natural substances, for example, and really encouraging a diet very, very rich in plant fats or healthy fats is going to be um, key for people with neurodegenerative conditions. Uh, so that's kind of the broad approach. When we take the, the broad umbrella of neurodegenerative conditions and we start honing down into the different types of neurodegenerative conditions, it's important because of the tissues that are being affected and then the symptoms that the person displays. And then if there are any um, unique things to that disease, obviously that needs to be addressed. So if I'm going to tackle Parkinson's disease, for example, obviously I really need to balance the dopamine levels as best as possible. And if a person is on um, dopamine enhancing medication, then I need to be careful about that balance. and and also how serotonin plays in with that. Um, we know with Parkinson's disease, it's not just a lack of dopamine, but it's also about the dopamine serotonin balance. And so that needs to be addressed. Uh, if I'm working with someone with Huntington's disease, there's a different set of parameters. If I'm working with somebody with um, a non-specific neurodegenerative of, of certain white matter parts of their brain, again, I need to know what part of the brain so that I can track the symptoms, so that I can help a person manage.